Right, quick reminder for you, get outside, get some daylight or sunlight if you're lucky enough to, to not live in the UK. And your skin and in your eyes, right? First thing in the morning, plenty of health benefits, just a little reminder for you. Now, the only downside to being a bit of a playboy is uh, the girls try and mark the territory. I don't know if you can see the scratches, but that gets a bit a bit annoying. Like, look, I, I'm the only one. Look, I'm the, they get a bit crazy, but I mean, that's quite a nice problem to have. Now, do not assume that you think you know what I'm talking about when I say be a playboy. I'm not saying be a degenerate. I'm not saying be a dickhead. I'll get into my definition of, of this lifestyle that I live at the moment and why I think it's beneficial for you and why you can learn something from this. And it's actually the best way of living uh, you know at your age you're a young man full of testosterone i'll tell you why i think this is the best way of living and why if you settle down too early it can have a lot of negative effects on you i'm gonna tell you all of this shit. so first of all i just want to say do you know why porn is so addictive for men especially and why men watch porn more than women it's because it plays on your intrinsic desire to spread your seed with as many women as possible to leave an offspring behind to keep the cycle of life going it plays on that. It knows that. That's a motivation for men to fuck. Especially if you've got a lot of testosterone. To fuck, to get out there, to leave a legacy behind. Because otherwise we'd, we'd die out as a species, right? That's normal and there's nothing wrong with those urges and the urge to fuck. There's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is obviously where you direct those urges and that sexual energy. Fucking dramatic wind, the intro. Most guys do it and they, they self-pleasure and they masturbate. Obviously that's the wrong way of doing it. Now, with that being said, I think if I was to offer you multiple women okay and obviously you weren't on semen retention you, you had no religious ties to it at all you could just satisfy that natural desire you know hey have a threesome you know there's no repercussions there's no negative side effects to it no stds no babies Fucking win, man. i hope you guys can hear me all right you'd probably say yeah unless you were gay you lying to yourself most men would be like yeah, yeah of course you can let's do it you know it's a bit of fun and that's because, again, it's an intrinsic desire for men. Now, what I mean by this is, I'm not saying that love or settling down or having just one girl that you're committed to, I'm not saying these are bad things. Absolutely, love is the most beautiful experience you can ever go through in life. It's the best feeling in the world. Absolutely, it is. Do not close yourself off from love. Don't reserve yourself off from love because, oh, I'm scared of being heartbroken or scared of being hurt. Never, ever do that. Love with an open heart and... and and just adore your girl, bro. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not trying to tell you guys to be degenerates and casual sex. And listen very carefully to what I'm saying. I'm going to make sure that I come across in the most concise and clear way. Because young men are very impressionable. And I want to make sure I'm giving the right impression. So, love is not a bad thing. I'm not saying you should never ever settle down. You should never have a girlfriend, just one girlfriend. I'm, never, I'm not saying this, right? And when I tell you to be a playboy, I do not mean be a degenerate. I don't mean lie to girls, cheat on women, hurt people. I don't mean that. Always be a gentleman. You know what I'm about. You know, if you know me personally, you know what I preach, right? Always be a gentleman. Always be respectful. Always be honest and polite and pleasant to be around. Don't lie to girls. I tell girls now, I'm single and I'm not looking for anything serious. That's it. There was a girl on my phone recently, absolutely obsessed with me. She loves me, right? And she said to me, I'd really like to get to know you. I'd like to, you know, try things out with you and see how... I literally just told her straight. And I could have taken advantage of that if I was a knobhead. I could have taken advantage of it, but I didn't because I'm not a dickhead, right? And I, I have options. I don't have to, you know, most guys are desperate. They're like, yeah, I'll go in there just so they can get some pussy. Don't be that guy. And I said to her, listen, I'm single, you know, I'm not looking for anything in particular, anything serious, let's say. I'm not looking for anything committed at the moment, all right? I didn't even say at the moment because, again, that kind of gives a false hope. Just, you know, something like that. You don't have to lie to girls. You don't have to say, oh, I'm being a playboy. You don't have to say, you know, you don't have to cheat on girls to, to get as many women as possible. Be honest. I'm a single man. I'm not looking for anything committed or serious at the moment. That implies, okay, he's clearly just looking for some fun. He's not ready for a relationship. He's just enjoying himself. Fair enough. Okay? And the reason I think this is so important for young men to, to go through this phase of being a bit of a playboy, having fun with multiple women, experiencing feminine energy on the, the range of the spectrum with loads of different women, understanding what women like. Do you know why playboys are so sought after? Why the bad boys are so sought after when, when it comes to women? And why you always ask yourself, why do the dickheads, why do the players, why do the guys that cheat and do all this, you know, degenerate shit and, and hurt women like that? Why do they get all the women? It's because they know what they're doing with women. The girls don't have to ask you, I'll oh, put your hand here, do this. They don't have to lead you. You know exactly what to do. You know exactly how to pleasure a woman in and out of the bedroom, both sides, right? You just know what women want. That is attractive. For a girl to kind of like lead a guy in the bedroom or even out of the bedroom, it's not very attractive. It just 
it demasculates you as a man. I don't know if that's the right word, demasculates. You understand what I'm saying? It makes you look more feminine. You have to be led, right? It's not a good trait to have as a man. So what I recommend is while you're young, you're full of testosterone, okay? And I've learned this because I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've been in a committed, loving relationship with one girl. I was absolutely head over heels in love with her, loyal to her, would do anything for her. I've been on that side, you know, the first love, the true love kind of thing. And now I'm going through a bit of a phase where, yeah, I'm just having fun. I've had everything in between, mate. Is that stick on my hair? What the fuck is that? Um, you know, so I've been on both ends of the spectrum and I know what works best for young men. If you get into a committed relationship too early on in your life, when you're young, and you haven't had any experience with women before, and you say, yeah, she's the one for me, we're going to get married and have babies together. Bro, I promise you now it's not going to last. Do you know why all these people tell you that the first love never lasts. It's because you're not experienced enough. You don't know what you like in women. You don't know what you don't like in women. You don't even know how, how women respond to you, how they respond to the world. You don't know what women are. You have no experience at all, in and out of the bedroom. And that's why they just never last, because you can't satisfy each other in that way. Something will always come up where she'll say, uh, I'm not happy because of this. You'll say, I'm not happy because of this. That's all a learning process. But this is why I think guys just go through a phase Sleeping with as many women as possible, having fun, enjoying himself while he's young, not having the stress and getting tied down with relationships and a, a girl that you don't even really like. You're just infatuated when you first met her because it's new and exciting and you're going through the honeymoon phase. You don't genuinely love this girl because you do not know what love is. You haven't experienced it yet. You haven't experienced so many different women to understand, yeah, I love this girl. She's for me. You, haven't, you don't know that. You're just infatuated. It's, it's kind of like a high school crush kind of thing. That's what you're feeling. So... Get out there, experience many different women, have sex, learn what they want, learn how feminine energy responds to masculine energy, learn about the mood swings and the emotional states that they go through. So when your girls or the girls that you're with start acting in an emotional kind of bipolar almost way, you understand exactly what's going on. Right, it's feminine energy. I understand that they respond to the present moment. They respond to what's going on right now. They kind of just go with the flow. That's, that's how females work. Okay, cool, I know what's going on. I can go and be silly with her, I can go and give her a hug. I know that's exactly how to respond to it. I'm not saying to her, why are you always acting like this? Why are you always, you know, so emotionally unstable? And then they're having a go at her. You understand exactly how to speak to her, right? You understand how to be a gentleman, how to treat these women properly. Make them feel like a lady, make them feel feminine. This is important shit. And if you're a young guy, you're a virgin, or you've only had like two partners before, I hope you can still hear me. It's fucking windy, bruv. You know, you don't have that experience. You're not gonna know what to do when it comes to getting your actual girlfriend that you truly do love. And then she's gonna, she's gonna go off you. She's gonna get unattracted to you. Because you're feminine, you don't know what to do. You know, you're kind of just a boy. You wanna be a man. So when you finally do get a bit older, or you finally do meet the one girl, and again, don't close yourself off. That if you do meet a girl and she's absolutely, you believe she's perfect for you, the values all align, yeah, 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 it's all great, you're in love. Fair enough, go for it, bro. Experience that feeling of love because it's beautiful. It's the best feeling in the world. Love with an open heart. Don't be scared of heartbreak because it's by embracing that fear, that risk of heartbreak and that risk of being hurt. That's what makes the positive side of love so like irreplaceable. Best feeling in the world. So don't close yourself off. If you do meet that girl, inevitably one day you will, you'll meet that one where she's perfect for you you want, you want to marry her, you want to stay with her forever, all this kind of shit, you're in love. Great. Now, if you've been through a Playboy phase before that, not only do you now understand what women like, so when you do finally meet your one and only, you know exactly how to treat her, to keep her attracted to you forever. There is no guy out there like you, you're irreplaceable. That's why bad boys and playboys and the guys that kind of sleep around a little bit when they're young, they, they have, you know, they fuck loads of girls, fuck boys, basically. Those guys, all the girls want them. Because they're not, they're not shy, they're not awkward in the bedroom, they're not timid, they know exactly what to do. And believe me, it's attractive, it really is. And I, I think it's just kind of irresistible. Even, even if a girl knows that you're a bit of a, a cheat, a bit of a degenerate, and again, and that's not stuff I recommend. Don't cheat, don't lie, don't be a degenerate, don't hurt anybody. Be a gentleman, be respectful, be polite. But just tell these girls, yeah, I'm single, and I'm just looking for some fun, right? I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself. I'm not looking for anything serious. There we go. No one gets hurt. She knows exactly what you want from the start. You're being honest. You get to enjoy yourself. If she's not interested, cool, no worries, fine. Move on to the next one. Abundance mindset, yeah? Now, so when you do finally meet this girl, not only do you know what women like, okay, but also you don't have this urge to sleep with other women. You may have found that in your life, if you've had a girlfriend before, if you've been in love before, after the honeymoon phase dies down, and you kind of just be comfortable, you're kind of used to each other, you're fucking fighting in front of each other or some shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, you get really, really comfortable like that. 
Um, <laughs> and that's a, it's a beautiful feeling. But you may find as a man, you start to just daydream about fucking other girls. That girl in the gym, that girl at work, you know, that girl that I saw on the street. You just daydream. Mm. What would it be like if I fucked her? That girl, with the, the black girl, the girl with the blue hair, just different women. Me and my mate have this inside joke where we say, we have this kind of like bucket list to tick off. And it sounds so degenerate when I'm telling you this, but it's like, I want to sleep with as many, this is generally me being honest with you here. I want to sleep while I'm young. I want to sleep with as many different women as possible. Fucking Chinese girls, Muslim girls, fucking black girls, blondes, brunette, everything. I just want to experience women in all the beauty and all the feminine, you know, essence. I want to experience it all. And it's kind of like a little inside joke, like, bro, we're such slags. We are such thoughts for the Americans out there. We are thoughts, bro, bitch, I'm a duck. Give me a look, yo. You know what I mean? That's what I am, bro. I'm a duck. I'm not a dickhead, I'm not a degenerate, I'm not a cheat. I want to drill this into you, don't lie. When I tell you, you can be a bit of a slag, you can have your fun, you can sleep around while you're young and, and just enjoy yourself, man. You understand what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not being a degenerate, you're not lying, you're not cheating. And very important, listen up, you stay strapped up. You wear protection. If you're sleeping around, bro, you're going to get chlamydia or some bullshit. Sooner or later, or you're going to put a baby in a girl, you don't want none of that. No chance, bro. While you're young, that's it. Your life stopped. <laughs> so don't don't fall into that trap. Wear protection. Stay strapped up, and then you can enjoy yourself. Great, brilliant, right? And again, you know what women like when you finally get into the relationship, and you're not constantly thinking about other girls, constantly thinking about having sex with other women. You've satisfied that urge. You've gone through the phase. You know what it's like. Cool. Now I can be fully present and enjoy the company of this one girl that I absolutely adore and absolutely love when you finally do meet her a bit in the future, right? Have your fun, enjoy yourself, man. So yeah, every single man should go through a bit of a playboy phase while he's young, you know, 18, 25 maybe, you know, that kind of age range. Young man, full of testosterone, make the most of it. Because when you get to like 30, if you've been on semen retention your entire fucking life, you've, not, you've never fucked a girl before, because, oh, you know, I don't want to be a degenerate. No, no, no. I'm waiting for the right one. Now, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. If you're religious or something, fair enough, I respect your culture. If, yeah, okay, that's what you want to do, fair, fine. But I just want to make you aware, I want to advise you on how this could negatively impact you. If you do finally get into a relationship and you've not had any, or you've very, very little female experience in and out of the bedroom, you know, emotional experience with them, the stresses that they put, put on you, the good things that you, they do for you, all of it, the wide end of the spectrum. If you haven't experienced that, when you finally do meet your one and only, not only will you come across in a very feminine, kind of boyish way, because you don't really know what you're doing, but also you won't know how to respond to her wild feminine side. And again, the feminine energy is all about the flow of the moment. You know, you could be doing everything right for an entire week, and then you, do, you say one thing wrong, in that moment and that's how she'll view you you're a dickhead you're a knobhead oh, i hate you she'll feel negative emotions towards you because they just respond constantly to the present moment they always do whereas men kind of have this kind of like problem solving logical mindset women are just very more emotionally motivated and there's nothing wrong with that it's just the way that we work is i think feminine energy is more just revolving around nurturing and caring and the flow of love in in life you know because obviously they raise the children men are more purpose mission you know, goal-driven, logical, problem-solving. How do we get over this obstacle to, to achieve this mission? That's how we think. Now, if you don't have experience with women, you don't understand how they think. So when you do meet your one girl, you're going to be thinking, well, I'll just solve it like, a, like a, in a man's mind. I'll just solve it like a man would. How can we get over this problem? She doesn't want to get over the problem. She just wants to feel sad for a moment. She wants to be angry at you for a moment. She wants to feel happy with you at the moment. That's how, that's how they work. That's why we have this kind of like joke as men of like women are all bipolar. Sorry lads, I'm putting you on, on, on smoke here. You're going to get in trouble with your missus. But yeah, we have this kind of, this, this joke as if, yeah, oh, all girls are bipolar. And it's because of the mood swings, right? You've ever heard that pop smoke mood swing? Well, it's absolutely relatable. Women are like that. And that's because of feminine energy. Once you learn this, you know how to respond to them. You can just be silly with her. You know, go and lick her face or something, start play fighting. You can just mess around, be silly, allow her to feel those emotions, whatever it is that she's feeling. You're not like, oh, you're always like this. Why are you always like, why are you always so emotional? You're not like that. You know exactly what she's feeling and you know exactly how to respond because you've been through so many girls before that, oh, it's, just, it's normal to you. It's just habitual. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to think, hmm, what's the best way to respond? Like an alpha male. And bro, you just know exactly what to do because you are the guy that's had loads of women. So bro, while you're young, don't be put off by this. Don't be like, oh, it's, it's degenerate. It's degenerate. Casual sex. Listen, I get the negative side effects to it. I really do. But... What's your alternative? 
Are you going to wait until you finally meet the one good girl for you and then you're going to give her everything but you don't even know what to give because you don't understand f female energy? How are you going to, you know, keep her attracted to you? How are you going to provide the best masculine essence to her feminine energy if you don't know how to do that because you've not been with a girl before? So my advice, I mean, maybe it's a bit controversial. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you think on casual sex, on having, you know, fun with multiple different women where you don't. Let me know what your thoughts are on this, right? Um, I do think, you know, again, I've been in a relationship before where I was, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. I, you know, I had girls before her, but it wasn't on the spectrum that it is now. I didn't truly understand it like I do now. It is different. Um, but yeah, I've been on that side and now I'm in a phase where, yeah, I'm going for a bit of a playboy phase. I'm enjoying myself, you know, and again, I'm always a gentleman. I'm always respectful. I always treat them very, very nicely. I always want to leave a positive, lasting impression on their life. When they think of me, it's nothing but positivity. That's what I want. I'm never going to lie to women. I'm never going to cheat on a girl. I'm never going to say, yeah, um, you know, I'm willing to be committed to you and then sleep with other girls behind her back. That's just being a dickhead, mate. That's just being a, a knobhead. It just genuinely is. I don't have to do that, right? I can tell girls, listen, this is what I'm looking for. I'm just having a bit of fun. I don't really want anything serious. I'm not looking for a girlfriend right now. And they'll either say, all right, cool. And we'll have our fun. And they'll understand that it's just like a friends with benefits kind of thing, a hookup kind of thing. Or they'll just say, all right, yeah, I'm looking for something more serious. Fine, okay, no worries, no problem. That's it. There's no one's getting hurt. There's no negative repercussions from it. Literally, there's nothing negative that comes from it. As long as you're staying protected, you're wearing protection, bro, you're staying strapped up, you're not hurting anyone. There's not really anything negative to, that can come from it other than the conflict of your spiritual side, right? If you started to meditate, if you started to get into spirituality, you might feel this kind of like, yeah, that kind of conflicts with my spiritual side a little bit. But again, it's just finding that equilibrium in life, isn't it? And you can, you can determine that for yourself. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. If you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, or if there's anything that you're struggling with, porn, uh, staying consistent on self-improvement, you know, addictions, anything that you are struggling with, family issues, relationship issues, women issues, bro, anything. They don't call me the best wingman in the game for nothing, right? The coaching is down below. Come and talk to me on a personal level and I'll sort you out. You know, it's much easier for me to give you advice that will change your life if I know who you are as a man. I know who you are, I know your name, I know where you live, I know you, not in a weird way, but you know, I know what city you live in, I know the kind of, is it a busy city, is it a town, you know, I know you bro, we're, we're cool, we're boys, I'm not a therapist, I'm not being like, right, the time's up now, let's go, I don't mind giving you sort of a bit of extra time, I don't mind just talking to you like, yo, you're my boy, I want to help you, we can feed off of each other's positive energy, and you need that, that's the one thing you're lacking, you've been doing so well, improving your life, doing all these amazing good habits and whatever, the only thing you're lacking is, is people that think like you, a network, positive, like-minded individuals. That is what you are lacking. And I've given you the opportunity to do that. Because how many people in your life, ask yourself this question, how many guys in your life could you come and talk to and say, listen, bro, I'm struggling with porn or I keep wanking myself off to go to sleep. How many guys can you openly talk about like that and you know that they're not going to judge you or respond in a negative? Bro, most guys can go, oh, it's normal. Don't worry, lad. It's normal. Now, we know it's not normal because we're intelligent and we're, we're more highly evolved than that, right? So come and talk to me and I'll sort you out, bro, and we'll... We'll, we'll make it happen. And I guarantee, after one hour in my company, we'll go from down here, up here, you'll be a new man. Because you can learn from all the mistakes I had to make. You know, all the mistakes in my 21 years, and I've made a lot of mistakes in those 21 years, believe it or not. You can learn from that, save yourself some time, heartache, embarrassment, and just be the man that you want to be. All right, that's my guarantee to you. That's the value exchange. I'll see you there.